This latest death happened just as Mayor de Blasio this morning was addressing the ongoing crisis of inmates dying in custody. This is the 11th person to die in custody. There was a 12th person who got so sick he had to be hospitalized and was granted compassionate release and then passed away. Now the attorney general says she may investigate after visiting Rikers. And this all underscores what protesters are telling us. If something doesn't change soon, more people will die. What are we doing when we're under attack? Stand up, fight back! From the formerly incarcerated. I got jumped by 15 people due to the negligence of the officers. Two lawmakers who recently toured the city's notorious jail facility. What I saw when I went to Rikers Island was an island of death and decay. The demand outside City Hall, standing alongside a banner showing the names of those who've died in custody this year, was straightforward. Hey, close right close right a number of prominent New York congressional leaders, including Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Jerry Nadler, have echoed that call in a letter to Mayor de Blasio and Governor Hochul. But the mayor is taking a more moderate approach. Uh, but I'm going to be very, very clear that we have to balance the need to address rapidly the situation in Rikers with our ongoing focus on securing public safety for the whole city. He's beefing up resources around intake. Inmates have lingered in those overcrowded and unsanitary cells where disease and violence have become common. This is a bad, tough situation, but it can be turned around. De Blasio also said he's evaluating if he can expedite the release of nonviolent offenders. But just outside his office, the mayor's reaction was called out of touch. Stop ignoring reality. Stop ignoring the truth. Let them all go. Plus, public defender Alice Frontier points the finger at local district attorneys as well, who continue to ask for bail in the case of nonviolent or mental health related cases. Until these practices change, people are going to die. Mayor de Blasio also went after the Correction Officers Union, saying they've been intentionally encouraging officers to call in sick, which creates a more dangerous situation. The union says they're doing no such thing. They're saying he should go to Rikers and see for himself why things are going so badly. Live at City Hall, Henry Ross, Pix 11 News.